This is Gemini's new series of speakers called the GD series. And of course, this happens to be the GD 115 BT. So when we get a speaker like this, we're looking for a couple of key features. One, we're looking for a good volume. Of course, it's a 15 inch with a tweeter on top. We expect some volume out of it. We also expect clarity. We want to have nice sharpness and we want to be able to adjust the base, the bottom end. And you're also going to be able to do that with this unit. Now it's peak powered at a thousand watts. It is RMS at 350 for the actual woofer and 150 for the tweeter, giving us 500 watts before we get going. It is by amp. That's very important. They have a separate amp chip running the bottom and another amp chip running the top. 350 with 150 on top is very nice. It's a good mix uh, and it's proportionate. So this way you're not going to damage either the woofer or the tweeter because one's going to be too powerful than the other. In this case, that's not going to happen. Now for the overall look and design of the speaker, I really like it. This is coming out of a factory that's really known for detail quality work. The overall look of the case, the design, the shape, the details, the seam is beautiful. The seam from the front to the actual body is really good. People don't talk about that, but this actual box design is really nice. The handles are built well. They're recessed into the box, not sticking out. Uh, that gives us some advantages. It reinforces the box, so the acoustics of the overall box sound better. And the same thing with the top. We don't have a handle sticking out, and it's pushed to the back of the unit. Again, much better for overall acoustics internally for the box. Pole mount. No problem there and very easy to carry around. I do like the fact that there's handles all the way around the speaker, not just at the top or at the bottom. So you do have options when it comes to setting up the speaker. You can set it on the floor. You can set it up like a monitor, but you can also put it on a speaker stand. So if you've got a large group of people and you want to entertain them, this might be a good way to go. Now, remember this speaker is great for everything from your backyard to your rec room to a small get together, you know, 25, 30 people. If you get two of them, maybe you're gonna get yourself up to 50. Can you DJ with them? I wouldn't be DJing for a paycheck. You'd have to get into something bigger. But if you're DJing a backyard party and you wanna have a reasonable set of speakers to take with you, you don't wanna carry your 100 pound speakers, this is a good alternative for the smaller gigs. And that's very important. But what everybody likes about the speaker, besides the sound, the response, the power and all of that, is the Bluetooth options to it. It's a very smart speaker. It does have Bluetooth and it has smart stereo link capability, which means we can link up two speakers. TWS for those who follow that terminology. True wireless stereo sound in this speaker. Take your phone, Bluetooth off to the first speaker, the first speaker then hooks up wirelessly to the second speaker via Bluetooth with no delay between the two. Very sharp. So let's cover all the other features this unit has part of the amp plate on the back of the speaker. So we're going to start right here on top. You're going to basically turn on the Bluetooth by pressing the pair button and then you're going to select the Gemini GD series on your phone or tablet. Then you're also going to press the link button if you have a second speaker and then do the same thing on the second speaker. Press and hold the link button they'll pair off to each other, measure the distance between the delay and adjust, and that'll all magically happen. If you'd like to learn up-to-date pricing on this speaker, by all means, use the link down below. That's our affiliate link to Amazon. That'll get you over to their site and let you know the price difference between this and the one with the light package. Channel two. Channel two is our analog input. So here we have our auxiliary 3.5 connection, but we also have the ability to have a line or a microphone featuring either a quarter inch or XLR, but because we actually have a button to switch between line and mic, my microphone can either be a quarter inch or an XLR. Same thing with my line. So if I'm plugging in a controller or a mixer, I can use whatever best application or cables I have on hand to do a good job. Next is channel three. Channel three has again our gain controls. These analog inputs are gonna be RCA. We're gonna have the exact same line mic option for another set of quarter inch or XLR inputs. Below that, you're gonna have your main or master volume control. So you set up your mix on top, control it with the actual master volume. We can then add or remove some bass and treble from our channels. And then we finish it off by having the ability to add a second speaker via the mix out. Now this can be a subwoofer or a second inline speaker, but you might ask yourself, well, you just had the Bluetooth sync on top. Now this sync for two speakers is only gonna be for the Bluetooth, no analog control. So if I wanted to actually use the Bluetooth and the analog controls, I'm gonna be throwing a cable between my first speaker, this one here, and my second. 
allowing me full complete mix of the actual system. So now let's take a minute to give it a little bit of a sound test. We've got ourselves a rib microphone in front. Take a listen to it and see what you think and then we'll wrap it up. Hope this video helped you out today and you buy incision remember if you like the video please leave a thumbs up find the comments down below add to it if you'd like subscribe if you haven't thank you very much